Hello boys and girls and welcome to uh, welcome to the bike shed. It's a beautiful day and um, I thought today we'd talk about brakes because uh, they're quite important um, at uh, stopping you, things like that. So um, at this time of year it's very muddy and gritty and horrible out there so brake pads uh, get worn very quickly and that can cause all sorts of damage to your bike. So what I do after each ride is just check my brake pads, make sure everything's good. Uh, so let's have a look and see what we've got. Now the way these things work is uh, you've got your brake caliper here and you've got two uh, brake pads in there which operate on this nice shiny rotor here. Um, uh, hydraulic pressure pushes the pads in from either side and grips them. So we're just going to take this might be a split pin, might be a screw in like this. Uh, but there'll be something that goes through both calipers and the spring in the middle that holds them in place. Take that out and gently pull out the calipers. Normally a good idea to take the wheel out, but there we go. Well as you can see these are my my pads and there's still a reasonable amount of pad there but it's getting fairly close to where the spring sits which means that um, very shortly we're going to start hitting metal and that's a that's a bad thing for the rotor because as soon as the motor as soon as the metal starts uh, rubbing the rotor uh, you can knacker your rotor um, and what you do then is you turn your disc rotor that big spinny silver thing into a file effectively which buggers up your next set of pads so really important that you don't let that happen we've got another bike in the workshop today we'll have a quick look at that one so as i mentioned we were uh, we were out on a gravel ride yesterday and one of the guys was having a problem with his um brake a lot of noise coming from the front brake uh so uh i've got the bike here and we're just gonna have a quick look and uh, find out what's wrong with it okay so there's our brake there's our disc and the disc looks pretty scratchy and if you give it a spin you can hear why i wasn't happy with it yesterday it's making a lot of noise so let's whip those brakes out whip the wheel out, whip the rakes out and have a look. Okay, now this is the, uh, these are the um, disc uh, calipers that we took out of that bike. Um, and as you can see, there's no flipping pad left on that at all. And that sort of semicircular uh, scraping pattern means that the disc has been uh, scraped, scraping away at the pad and vice versa, which is not great same on that one this there's just there's no pad left at all remember it's supposed to look at minimum like that uh, and on this one actually even the spring's been rubbed away a bit okay so let's have a look at the disc which is fairly well gouged but the problem with this is when you put if you put new pads in with this disc the disc would just start to eat away at the at the pads very quickly so it'll wear down very quickly so i'm afraid that means we've got to replace the disc and the pads probably worth taking a moment as we're fitting the new disc to just point out how they're attached there's two different types there's a big circular thing which goes on uh, some bikes and this one's got six bolts um, and as you can see these little there's a little figure of eight jobby there that puts tension on the on the on the bolt and the blue stuff around the uh, around the bolt there is called thread lock and what that does is it just lock, kind of locks the bolt in place we will use a torque wrench to tighten them up to the correct torque four newtons as per the, the spec and that's really not very much, but the springs and the uh, thread lock are what keeps it secure. Uh, worth pointing out that when you change a disc, there's a little rotation symbol there. So uh, try and make sure that you put that on the right way around. Otherwise, um, it'll all fall apart, maybe. So we've got a new pads in with a spring in the middle, no wheel in there. Um, and this 
a little few screws in. And the reason I'm talking a bit funny is because I've got a little clip in my mouth that goes on the end of this to stop it working its way loose, just like that. Um, it may use a split pin, which I think is easier and better, but there you go. Good, so now let's put the, the axle's done up and you've got to admit that sounds a little bit better, doesn't it? Check the brake, beautiful. Job done. So I'll get on and do the back one.